I have a bottle of whiskey in front of me that I have been waiting to sample for months. And it finally showed up in the mail today. So I'm going to sample it right here, right now. Check it out. Okay. So this is the Malloy's Elijah Craig single barrel, barrel proof, private barrel. Malloy's single barrel, barrel proof, private barrel. Um, this was released uh, about a week or two ago at Malloy's in Glen Ellen, Naperville, and Lyle uh, in the Chicagoland area. Um, this is something that Steve, a good friend of ours in the Fox Valley Whiskey Society, um, picked some time ago. Elijah Craig and Heaven Hill, uh, Heaven Hill specifically, just started doing uh, allowing uh, off premise, so liquor stores, to pick their own barrel of barrel proof Elijah Craig last May. And when they announced it, it was this huge deal. And unfortunately, it wasn't open to any on premise restaurants or any private clubs. It was only off premise uh, or liquor stores that was allowed to kind of come in and put their name on a barrel. Um, Malloy's Finest Wine and Spirits got on the list, and here we are. We have their their private barrel, which I am super, super excited about. Um, Steve was kind enough to send me a bottle uh, in the mail. Um, I poured it about five minutes ago, um, just kind of letting it open up. Um, it does come in at 131.5 proof, 65.75% alcohol, so it is a little bit higher up there. Um, I'm a huge fan of all of the other barrel picks the, that uh, that Steve does um, at uh, at Malloy's, and I am sure that this is probably going to fit the bill as another fantastic, fantastic single barrel for Malloy's. So, um, like I said, poured it about five minutes ago. It's got a really, really beautiful color. You can see the color in there. It's real deep gold, um, kind of verging on like an amber color. Legs are relatively thin, uh, pretty indicative of a um, higher alcohol content. So let's dive into the nose. Let's see. Definitely, definitely get a lot of that seasoned wood in there. Very kind of stereotypical. Heaven Hill. Um, I feel like I've been kind of saying that a lot. I just I just recently sampled the the uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A122, and we have a text chain going with the rest of the Fox Valley Whiskey Society. And um, I said it tastes quintessential Heaven Hill. It's got that that oaky tannin, that charred seasoned wood um, note to it. Um, deep, rich cherries. But you can definitely smell and you can and definitely get that aroma of of wood and and rick house and barrel warehouse get a lot of cherry in there a little bit of like pecan and almond kind of nutty Toasted sugar, dark, like real rich brown sugar, almost like a molasses. It's going for the taste. <clears throat> There's like this initial wave of candied cherries, like chocolate covered cherry. That just kind of like washes over the palate. A little bit of nuttiness on there. You get a little bit of that like sweet almond praline coming through. A lot of that seasoned wood, that charred oak. Um, you can definitely, I mean, there's no, there's no doubt about it that this is a high octane, high proof bourbon. I mean, this, this drinks... I mean, at 131.5 proof. I mean, if you were to tell me that this is 120 above, I'd, I'd 100% I'd be like, yeah, absolutely. Comes in at nine years old. The nose on there, it's that, 
it's that cherry note that really, really comes through for me. Cinnamon, bitter chocolate, <clears throat> a little bit of stone fruit in there. It's kind of like a, uh... oh man, my nose is starting to run from the proof. Holy cow. Whew. <clears throat> That'll kick you in the pants. It's like a dark chocolate covered, covered cherry. Sweet vanilla, cinnamon, a lot of it's 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 kind of dry. There's there's some there's some tannins in there that are just kind of sucking the moisture out of my mouth. The finish, I mean, just goes on and on and on. But it's still it's you know my <clears throat> my teeth are a little numb right now from the proof nuttiness is coming through a little bit more as it opens up as it opens up a little bit this reminds me of uh like christmas day christmas christmas eve we have uh we have a family get together everybody's in charge of like bringing something and there's always a dessert table. And this almost reminds me of the smell of like the cookies and the cake and the pie and everything that just is sitting on the table. That's kind of like what, what this smells like. Hmm. Mm. Got a little bit of graham cracker in there. But it's it's still it's that <clears throat> it's that chocolate covered cherry that comes through that's coming through the most on here. That slight nuttiness that comes through the that sweet almond praline is coming through a little bit. Slight, you know, uh crackeriness, graham cracker. Um some stone fruit that's that's in there trying to pinpoint like which you know is it's, it's it's not peach it's not it's it's not a it's not an apricot or a, you know maybe like a plum um you know like a dark red like a dark red fruit um but just lots of baking spice lots of wood i get a lot of that charred oak in there uh which is just is like i said very indicative of uh, the Elijah Craig barrel proof, kind of that whole that whole barrel proof series, um, and 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 Heaven Hill really in in general. Um, this barrel, this bottle sold out at Malloy's uh, pretty quickly. It sold out in uh, I think pr like less than a day. Um, <clears throat> so unfortunately, if you weren't able, pardon me, if you weren't able to get one, you know, uh, oh well. Um, you know, find somebody that uh, that was able to grab one and, and see if you can uh, see if you can have a bottle share or, or a sample. But this was absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Um, congratulations to Steve uh, Malloy, uh, Steve Malloy, as well as everybody there at Malloy's um, on a fan, on another fantastic uh, barrel pick. Um, <clears throat> some of you guys have had questions for for me and the Fox Valley Whiskey Society. Uh, you know what's coming up in the future. We are going to Kentucky this weekend uh, to pick a number of barrels. Um, from uh, from a couple distilleries, um, we will be back the end of May, beginning of June, uh, to pick some more barrels. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll uh, we'll have an Elijah Craig uh, private barrel in our future as well. Time will tell. Uh, so everybody, cheers! Have a wonderful rest of the week and a wonderful weekend. We'll see you.